You're a bunch of crazy sons of oh. wow. All right, guys, welcome back to day two of getting this very buried old dozer off the mountain. Uh, we just rolled up, put all the boys in the back of Bud's hot rod here. And uh, basically what we're dealing with is last night we left uh, to go kind of regroup and make a plan. We went into St. George and we were going to go rent another big piece of uh, equipment, uh, haul truck, something like that, to be able to kind of get this thing down the canyon. Simply because the tracks are locked up and we just don't have enough grunt between the machines that we have. Oh, no, we didn't get Luckily, uh, the good neighbor down here, our new friend uh, just down the road, happened to have a big D8, um, an older D8, D8R model. Um, let's see if I can go find it here, show you guys what we're working with. So this is very similar to the last dozer recovery that we did. You guys remember four or five months ago, we pulled an old D8 down the mountain using another D8, well, it's gonna be the same story this time. The difference is both these tracks are locked up on this one, whereas on the last one, one of the tracks actually worked and the machine ran, so it was able to help kind of power through. So this is different because this is just completely dead weight. Uh, but we got that guy right there. Big old D8, older model. Um, I think a decent machine though. Should have uh, plenty of oomph to get us moving. So we're gonna kind of figure out how to configure this. I'm thinking, depending on how well that thing wants to move, we're either going to, well, I'll, I'll explain that part once we get to it. But basically, I think it's gonna be a combination of that dozer and the five ton wrecker, and maybe even the Sani, getting all these things uh, worked out and pushed down the canyon. So let's see what happens. Nine kids just out, just let them sleep wherever. Somebody's got a fresh baby. You make another one? Oh, you're gone? Maybe.
so basically where we're at right now is we've got the dozer completely out of the hole where it originally was and it's sitting right there uh, the issue like i said before is the tracks are locked up so not uh freewheeling at all which makes this thing you know probably 40 50 000 pounds of just solid dead weight so basically what we're going to do now now that i've kind of got a straight shot we're going to hook the uh Yankum soft shackle actually is what we found to be the best thing for that around the uh, tooth of the ripper there and basically just kind of go straight out that way is the plan and then before we get too crazy i gotta come back here and grade this all out because as you can see we made a bit of a mess but uh it's moving now um let's try that one for now just around the two two on that same spot it's fine just run, run that one around the Let's hook her up. Hey, so Didn't we hook it up down under in the... In the like, we hooked it to the hook. No, we hooked it in there, didn't we? I think we did that at one point, but I think we ended up pulling it out by hooking it to the hook. Hook it in there without pinching it, I guess. Heads up! So, little update, we've got uh, pretty much a game plan to get the dozer pulled out. The D8 is, is pulling it really well. Um, but the next issue that we're up against is this is a public road. Uh, and a lot of people travel up and down this road. So we are not going to leave it a mess. That's one of the biggest things we've got to keep in mind today. Even this area where we pulled the old dozer out of, we're going to try to level this off even more. I just pushed it flat a little bit with the uh, D8. But we're going to clean up his fence line a little bit, just kind of make it as nice as possible. And then the real fun we're gonna take the old dozer blade and put it back on the dozer that I'm towing out backwards so as we dig ruts with the tracks that are basically you know locked up then the big blade right there is gonna go behind it as I'm dragging it and in theory this is just a theory this is not accounting for river crossings and giant rocks and all that other stuff in theory it should leave a pretty sweet smooth graded road if it doesn't, we're going to have to take the dozer down, load it up, and then bring the dozer, the other uh, big dozer back up. And just do one pass, clean it all up, because, like I said, got a lot of people coming up and down this road. And 
we want to leave it better than we found it. That's the plan. So we're gonna go hook this up over here and see what happens. Look at this lighting. This is like, looks like a freaking cartoon. This is nuts. See you later. familiar to the last time we did this. These D8s are just brute. Well guys, there you have it. That was one hell of a recovery. Look at that old dozer. Let's just take a look at this real quick. Haven't really had a good chance to look at this thing yet since I've just been towing it all day. But that is a big machine. I don't know the exact weight, but I would guess that uh, easily 50,000 pounds with the blade and then all the dirt and stuff that's on there. Definitely added to it. but. That was, uh, that was awesome. We were planning on doing this just in one day, but obviously, as you guys saw uh, last night and in the previous video, we were not able to get it uh, fully out because we needed a way to pull it down the canyon, which fortunately for us, had Thomas Putnam over here and his family. Just a bunch of good people to hear, guys. This whole valley is full of really good people. So Thomas let us use his big D8 there to get it loaded. If we didn't have that, we would have been trying to rent another machine and it would have just been an absolute nightmare. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was uh, definitely a fun one for us because it was super challenging. And uh, now we are loaded up and headed back home because we got to take the kids trick or treat. It's Halloween time. It's Halloween tomorrow, I think, something like that. Anyways, you guys remember, if, uh, if you like these videos and if you like free stuff, you should be subscribed to our channel because when you subscribe to this channel, you're automatically entered to win all of our uh, giveaways that we do. So every 250,000 new subscribers that we hit, bam, we choose one of you lucky subscribers to come pick one of my personal toys, whether it's a Polaris Razor or something from my personal collection. I'm uh, giving away every single 250,000 benchmark that we hit. And then when we hit 10 million subscribers, which believe me will happen sooner than you think, I'm giving away a helicopter. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this show. Hope you enjoyed the beautiful country. Drop a comment, like, and stay subscribed. We'll see you in the next one.